In this class, we'll learn how to create Oracle ATP database connection in our integration instance. I'm here in the official documentation page by Oracle on using Oracle Autonomous Transaction Processing Adapter. Here, Oracle has documented each and every steps what we need to follow in order to create a connection successfully. Basically, almost all the database adapters are having the same configurations under connections. Now let's go directly to our integration instance and we'll create a connection. I'm here in the Oracle integration instance. In order to create ATP connection, we have to go to integrations from the home menu. Then we have to click on connections. On landing into connections page, we need to click on this create button over here. From here, we need to search for ATP. If you are creating any database to connect to any publicly accessible host address, then we can go for Oracle database. Also, if you are planning to connect to any on-premise or behind the firewall database with the help of agent, then also we can go for Oracle database. If your requirement is to connect to ADW database, that is the autonomous data warehouse, then we can go for ADW. If you are trying to connect to DBAS, that is the database as a service, then there is a separate database adapter for that. Now let's consider ATP as we are going to connect to ATP database. Click on ATP and click on select. Here I'm naming this as ATP underscore DB role. I'm keeping it default trigger and invoke and click on create. Here we need to upload the cloud wallet. If you don't know how to download a cloud wallet, we need to go to our autonomous transaction processing instance in our Oracle cloud instance. Once you are into this instance details page, we need to click on this DB connection. Clicking on DB connection, you will get an option to download the wallet. If you click on this download wallet, you need to populate the password and click on download. It will download the password file in your local computer. So these are the service names which are available in order to configure or to connect to this ATP database. Let me copy this, copy and under service name, I will place this. For more details, you can click on this I and check what this high, low, medium, TP and TP urgent means. Now valid, I will upload which I exported or downloaded from my Oracle cloud account. I have selected my valid file from my computer that is the .zip file. Click on upload. It is asking for password. I will populate the password. Password for valid and database I have populated. Now username I am giving admin. Click on text. The status will change to 100%. So like this, we can confirm our ATP database connection has been created successfully. Click on save. Now our database connection is ready for consuming from our integration. In our next class, we'll learn how we can create integration and interact with database with the select query, insert, update query and so on and so forth.